Good morning. It is, I think, day six. Well, I count days, but I'm not out here for days at a time. I only put in a few hours a day. But there's not supposed to be any rain in the forecast this weekend, so I'm kind of excited. There's so much to do out here. And you think, where do you start? Well, <clears throat> again, I'm in my face. Where do you start? Well, I start by going, I don't want to leave the house, so I'm not going to do mulch. So I think I'm going to put the edging in. So here's where I stopped, right there. And I think I'm going to put the edging in here, because obviously you can tell it's not straight. It's not straight like that side. She just ran over my flowers. See why I can't have flowers? She just trampled them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the edging in. and Because uh, then I want to do that before I put the mulch down. Otherwise it'll be a, a big pain in the butt. Some garbage. <laughs> Wow, it's it's empty because the wind probably blew it all around. Oh, yes, you got to sniff everything, I know. Yep, just as I thought. I think that's a weed. Make sure you gather all your supplies before you start working because I have to keep coming back to get them. I swear I'm going to buy me like a little tool belt that holds all my stuff in there so I don't have to make 15 trips back to the garage. But... At least it keeps my muscles going. Okay, we're putting in edging. I was trying to be cool and a little bit lazy at the same time. Thought, nah, I'm just gonna kind of gauge the edging. I think I can keep it straight. No, that didn't work. So, of course, here's the stuff that we put in before. Look at the weeds coming back. They're already coming back. This is where I started, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna take a piece of string, and I'm gonna make it straight all the way down, and it's pretty much what I've done now. So I, you get a you get a piece of string that's really gonna show up in the dirt, and well, I got over there, but look at all this a little off. So now I gotta go back and work on that. Okay, look at it now. I fixed it. There's my string. Still not completely perfect, but you know, it's fine. I just stake over here. And like that. So now I have a corner. And I'm not gonna make it 90 degrees. I'm gonna kinda make it rounded a little bit because it's gonna be easier. This stuff doesn't, it's not really flexible. Oh, for the love of the Holy Mother got my corner in over here, put my yarn in, and pulled all the weeds. I got it straight for the most part. It, it is straight, but this one I unhooked because I was driving the stake into it, so it might have, I might have got a little unstraight. But it's looking straight. That took me an hour. I'm not kidding you. A freaking hour because there were so many weeds. I think I had like four of these just in this area. Uh, it's a lot of dirt that I pulled up, so I'm gonna keep going because look how long this is. <laughs> goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. Look, there's the end. It's gonna go around my yard five times. That's looking good. I swear I can set my watch to my break times an hour. And I'm like, I think I'll go sit down. I look at the clock. It's been an hour. Um, so I'm taking a break and I was totally going to say something and now I don't remember what it was. All it took was for me to put my phone down and then I was like, now I remember what I was going to talk about, the weather. When I went out there this morning, I think I went out there about a little before nine and it was 44 degrees. 
I'm uh, kind of cold. That's why I put the sweatshirt on. So now it's 11 and I'm, it's 54 degrees and I'm starting to get warm. I think I might be sweating a little bit. So I might need to um, start taking my sweatshirt off. Okay, here's an update. So I got all that edging in here. All this edging. And I went all the way around here. I just left it up against the... Your head's in my way. I just left it... <laughs> I left it up against the uh, brick there because I don't want to cut it. I don't, I'm not sure how to cut it because it's really thick. But, um... Okay, so I'm going to go along here. Okay, this is fun, sorta. Of. We got this gas tank. I think it's 15 gallons? 14 gallons. And I'm gonna fill up the lawnmower, but I can't figure out how to do it. So I gotta go get my husband. Okay, we figured out the gas tank. You have to pump it. Like pump the handle. You can't like this. You can't just hold it like a regular gas pump. So I'm gonna go mow this right here. I overflowed the gas. It's all over. Oh well. It's 59 degrees. That's close enough to 60. I could take my sweatshirt off. It's hard work. Because it's so bumpy. It looks smooth, but it's not. Okay, so it's all mowed. But now, look at that. I gotta go get some heater. See what a difference that makes. Get it all up off the fence. I <laughs> spent more time putting the stupid fishing line back on than I didn't do the fence over there because it just breaks the fishing line or the line to the weed eater. So I have to go pull that and I just don't feel like bending over right now. Okay, <laughs> this here was like vacuuming around furniture. See, I didn't get, I have some poles I need to throw out, but see, I couldn't get all the way in there. But that'll be gone eventually. One thing that's nice about having this tree gone is that no grass would grow right here. Nothing right here. Because it was always in the shade. And now look at it. It is it's full. It's probably the thickest part of my yard. Yes, I need to get the weed eater out and do this. I keep the wheels on my lawnmower at the highest setting. Because when I did it too low. Um, it's so bumpy, it would like scrape it up, make divots, and then I had holes everywhere. So once I put it on the highest setting, it started working pretty well. This was looking good until the dog took her baby out there, and there's all the stuffing. But it's kind of nice. All the dandelions are gone, so it makes it so much nicer. <laughs> I can't ruin my visas. That's because that's hard work. I'm not usually the one that... Okay. I'm not usually the one that mows the lawn. Sometimes my son will do it, but it's usually my husband that mows the lawn. But since he is recovering from knee surgery, I don't want to mess that up. I want his knee to heal properly so it won't be an issue for the rest of his life like it probably will be. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to get the fan on me because I'm gonna sit here in the garage with the fan on me and cool off for a little bit it's not even that hot outside but let me tell you I have I have a medical condition that's all I'm going to say about that and it makes me fatigued because my body's constantly trying to fix itself and um, I get fatigued really really easy that's why sometimes how long I spend in the yard is amazing and I went out there at nine o'clock this morning, did all that edging, which took me a while, and then mowed, uh, weeded the back dog run part, and I'm really tired now. So I've been showing my backyard a lot, but here's my front yard. 
and the neighbor doesn't like to mow this area even though it's his and so I cleaned up all the parts that are on my side of course you can still see all the dirt there and this is our backflow device I cleaned up all that I have any before pictures I go right to my property line and that's it then I started cleaning out between the cracks in the driveway and I got all of this in here and I still have a lot more to go after we sweep this probably probably pressure wash it again we I would like to do it every year but I don't usually have the energy to do it every single year but if you look over here this part we're actually filled in with uh, cement and it mm, can you tell you the the weeds don't grow in there and that's where we stopped so we'll end up I want to fill the rest of the cracks in with cement so I spent most of the day out here and isn't that kind of cool that's a screen door for our uh, garage I like it I spent a good amount of time out here today I'm really going to be hating life tomorrow but I was, I came out at nine, was out to here till two, and then I went in, ate, took a nap, got me a big, big gulp Coke, and felt like a new woman. It's still so nice outside, so I, that's when I went out and did the rest of the, the front part there uh, to get that part going. I'm, I'm still looking just as beautiful as I did this morning. Okay, well, tomorrow's going to be a new day. I'm going to go relax for the rest of the night, get some dinner, and we'll continue this tomorrow. Have a good night.